Hey folks, we're talking about Primavera P6 settings and in this video I am covering assignment staffing settings. Which ones? Let me show you. If we go to the edit menu and head down to user preferences, on the calculations tab in the bottom half, there's a bunch of settings there related to assignment staffing. Okay, so it says when assigning a resource to an existing activity assignment, and this is related to units per time and overtime factor. Do I keep the units per time and overtime factor of the existing resource or pick up these, those settings for the new resource or just ask me? That's the first option. And the second option is similar, but it has to do with those settings related to a role. So let me explain what these are about and how they work. Okay, I'm gonna close here. And I've got a simple activity, five day activity with two resources assigned. Well, actually it's one resource, it's Paul Kim, and he's been assigned to this activity twice. Now, let me show you what those settings are all about. Let's say I'm going to replace the second Paul Kim with somebody else. So I can just click on Paul Kim's name, and I'm gonna sub in Wendy, Wendy Resner. These are old names from the original P6 course. So let's replace Paul with Wendy. When I click uh, the green plus, I get this pop-up. It says, do you want to use the units per time and overtime factors for the new resource? This is what that setting is all about. It's asking me, what uh, units per time do I want to use? Well, of course, if I'm adding a new resource, I want to use their units per time from their profile to assign that to the activity assignment. And just by the way, Overtime, we don't care. Don't use overtime in P6. It doesn't work very well, and it is very limiting, not sophisticated enough for us. So just ignore that for the moment. So yeah, I would like to choose yes. Now watch what happens to budgeted units per time here when I choose yes. Ah, it went from 12 to eight. So I get the new budgeted units per time that is set on Wendy Resner's resource profile. I'll show you where that is. So we go back here to resources and I find Wendy here in my list. I think it's up, but it might be down. Here she is. And I go to the details tab. It is this units per time, default units per time. Okay. Now that can also be related to the units and prices max units per time, but it's those two fields that are being picked up here. So the question is, every time I swap out resources like that, do I want this pop-up or not? So let's go back and see what our options are one more time. So when I'm swapping out, do I want to pick up the new user's settings? Yes, I do. So that's the option we should pick here. I don't want to use the current resources settings. I want to pick up the new resources settings. This is the setting that I recommend to you to use it by default. Now, in the bottom half here, we have similar settings related to roles. We don't really use roles in construction project management. If you're in an IT organization using Primavera P6, yes, you might be using roles, but we really don't use them. They don't really give us any capabilities that we're interested in. So again, I would always use the resources price per unit. There is an option here to pick up those values from the role assignment. And I'll just touch on that really briefly. You can see here that Wendy and Paul are both assigned this management role. And if I have a look at enterprise roles, okay, and I'll just pick up this one, you can see that on prices, we have different prices and we have different limits that can be assigned and those can play a role here, a role. Those can be impactful here as well. So those are my recommendations on that setting is to make sure you say, always use the resources value. That's how you wanna set up your P6 for proper assignment staffing. I hope you got something out of this video. I'm Michael, and I'll see you again in another Ask Plan Academy. If you want to learn more about P6 settings and how to use P6 to manage projects, please check out some of our courses. We have an advanced course, 
we have a foundations course and they would be perfect for you to get your P6 certificate and become a master at Primavera P6.